Now let's take a look at some of the audio expression brushes. I'm going to go to the audio expression category and let's pick Particle Audio Dancer. When you pick an audio brush, you'll get this warning notification here. If you want, you can check this to not show it again. But what this is gonna show you is how this particular brush should work. So I'll go ahead and show you how this works. Let's just click OK. And then we want to go to our audio settings, which is found under Window, Audio, Audio Settings Panel. We want to enable audio input. So now audio input's active. Now we can choose input from the microphone or from internal audio. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to internal audio. You could also try it with your microphone. And then I'm going to go ahead and start playing a royalty-free MP3 here by Jingle Punks. And you can see that the decibel meter is responding here for this particular brush. So what we wanna do is we wanna play with the strength. We wanna take it down so that we can see this bar moving quite a bit, kind of dancing to the music, if you will. You don't want it to go too far into the red for too long because that's just going to kind of cut off the expression and you don't want it to be too low to where it's not doing anything. So somewhere around here is working good for this music. Now, depending on what kind of music you're listening to, if it's quieter music or louder music, you may want to play with the range to get more or less response. So let's try something like this with this particular brush. You can see it kind of dances and moves around with the beat of the music. Let's pick a different brush. And you can see that it gets bigger whenever there's a loud beat in the music. So you can go through and you can add audio expressions to a lot of different things here. So I have it set to size right now and pressure but I could also have it use color variability like it's doing here. So you can see that the color changes depending on the amplitude of the music. 